Hi, good afternoon. You join me in the garage once more, but on this occasion we're going to try to repair something, not make something. And I'm going to try to repair my Evolution Rage 3S uh, multi-purpose slide-in mitre saw. Um, done very, very well. I've had it a good few years. Uh, I've had issues with blades wearing out too quickly in my mind. I've done a separate video on that. But today, um, we're going to look at what's wrong with the armature. I've changed brushes in it just very, very recently, in fact, this morning. And they're sparking too much. And they're wearing down very, very rapidly. Um, I've done two cuts in a piece of wood. And I've lost about three or four mil off the length of the brushes. So I think we've got a problem going on with the armature. We'll turn it around, we'll fire it up, you can see how much it's sparking. And uh, I think the next thing to do is strip it out, get the armature out of it, see if I can spin it up on the lathe and take a couple of uh, thou off uh, the, the actual segments of the armature. But we'll turn it around, let you have a look at the other side. All right, we'll turn the saw around. Um, the brushes are changeable uh, very, very easily. There's an access uh, panel here and below just flat bladed screwdriver and half a dozen turns and they're out now i've got it powered up so i don't want to be doing that just at the minute just going to fire it up it's going to be quite noisy but you'll see quite a lot of sparks being emitted here and here that's where the brushes are actually in contact with the armature so just a quick blip on it bear with me Now you probably saw that flash, fine, yeah the, the saw is working, it'll work for about 10 minutes like that and the brushes will be worn right out. Um, and this has probably done 100, 200 hour service, now I'd rather like to get longer than 10 minutes out of a set of brushes. So we'll unscrew these, let me just unplug it if you bear with me. Right, we're unplugged from the mains, just whip this top one out so you can see. Simply half a dozen turns, and that's the brush. It's nice and shiny, that's where the, uh, the armature's been going round and it's worn the brush slightly. But if we pop out the lower one, <clears throat> it's just at 180 degrees to the top one. You'll see these are slightly different lengths. Don't know if that's coming across on the camera. One is about a millimetre longer than the other. When they, were here, they were, when they arrived today, they're identical lengths, and they were a little bit longer than that. So, uh, yeah, they're not, it's not just a matter of bedding in. Um, the armature has gone issue. Um, whether that either the armature's worn out the old set of brushes, or whether the old set of brushes have just worn out, and I didn't change them quick enough, and it, it, it arced a little bit, and that's caused a problem on one of the segments. But... We won't know until we delve a little bit deeper in there. Um, I'll see if I can get the camera so you can look down the hole there at the armature segments. Uh, and you can see they are quite burnt. I have rubbed them over with a little bit of very fine emery cloth just to try to bring them up, but that's not done it. So it is they, it, the armature is going to have to come out. So I'll revolve the, uh, the saw just a little tad more and uh, we'll have a look, see if we can see the armature before we strip it down too far. Okay, just bear with me because I'm holding a light just trying to get the best position to uh, show you on camera. There you can see the segments. Um, they're not nice. Not horrible. I've seen a lot worse. Um, but I think if I can get that out and tidy it up on the lay, that's going to be quite good. One thing, I thought this was a direct drive to the blade. It may not be, so we will find out in a few minutes. But I can rock the blade backwards and forwards and there's play between the blade and the armature. Now, it's possibly it goes through a gearing mechanism, um, so I, I'd expect a little bit of backlash if that was the case, but I wouldn't expect an armature to look like that um, and expect 100 hours life out of a brush. So um, one thing's for sure, that armature's coming out and we're either going to be doing a bit of recycling or this saw's going to be up and running in a few hours. So, um, yeah, I'll set the camera up and you watch me dismantle it and... Uh, We'll go on from there. We'll get the blade out first. There's a six mil Allen key, just where the blade is. There's a lever you detach from a stud, which allows you to bring the protective cover up, so it exposes the blade. 
is um, let me think uh, is uh, you got to turn the, the bolt clockwise because it's a left-handed thread so there you go don't try to put a normal bolt in here because you'll be here for a while it's not going to go in just drop that off currently isn't a standard uh, evolution blade so I've had a little spacer uh, resting in there to suit this blade for the wood cutting but yeah we'll get the end off and see if we can dismantle a little bit further well there's the armature right just having a look for wear and tear it's not too bad on there it is slightly it is geared um, I, I should have known I don't know what the ratio is but uh, that's why there's a little backlash so I'm not too worried about that uh, this is the end I'm more concerned with it don't look horrible there is some wear in there I might be lucky and be able to take a couple of thou off that and if I can, um, there's still some life left in the old uh, old duck yet. So, uh, yeah, over to the lathe and see what we can do. Right, we're over by the lathe. I'm going to put this end in the lathe chuck. The other end's going to be into a fixed steady. So what I've done, I've slid a little bit of pipe. That's a fairly good fit. So I don't want to damage this in the chuck. Uh, that's not going to, that's going to spoil my day, basically, if that happened. So I'll slide that over there and clamp the jaws on it and hopefully this won't rock around too much. So uh, we'll go ahead and put that in and see uh, if it is fairly good. There's a little bit of play. I'll bring the fix steady up. Right, I think that should be okay. I want to take the real minimum amount off on this armature. So, um, <coughs> well, wish me luck, we'll see how it goes. That looks good. We're getting a little bit closer. Yeah. I think we're on a winner there. Yeah, that's looking nice. If we just get the debris out from between the segments. Just to make it look a little bit tidier. That, that looks good. Well, if that don't work, then uh, you know, I've done everything I can. But none of the segments seem out of place. Sometimes these can lift. Segments actually can pop out. I've had that happen before. And that will spoil a day, that's for sure. But these all look perfectly planted still. 
Um, so I'm hoping, I, I still want to just clean the segments up a little bit. I'll get it on the bench, get the airline on it. Um, but I reckon that can go back in and maybe half hour from now we'll be up and running. So yeah, the lathe certainly uh, has done its trick there. So yeah, back to the bench where uh, the saw is and we'll get that put back together. All right, there you go. That's the armature all cleaned up. I've given uh, the segments a little wash and a brush out with IPA, just in case there's any debris from the lathe work, but it's all looking good. So hopefully um, it'll go back together as well as it came apart. So we'll, we'll do that now. Just gonna whack a spot of grease on here. There's some already in the gearbox, but it's not gonna hurt just to uh, a little squirt more. See if I can put this in here without damage in it. I haven't disconnected any cables. Um, it just about managed to do it without um, having to do that. So that possibly saved a job. And we'll see. Uh, if I'm gonna to need to do anything different with it. Just trying to re get the gears back together. There we go. Get one screw in it and it should hold there on its own then. Once I work out which ones they are. There you go, that's them. So yeah, all, all those sort of jobs you can do at, at home really, with uh, fairly basic skills. A little bit of experience is always handy. Um, like remembering which screws go in here. I've got a feeling there. No, I still, still think they're the right ones. Just a little bit of wiggling I think. And uh, we should have it back here, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I was saying, you don't have to be super clever to do this, it's just common sense. That's what I found with life, generally. A bit of common sense goes a long, long way. Oh, yeah, right, okay, well, I'll speed it up now, so you haven't got to watch me do all the screws, but that's all I'm going to do. Another four screws, the housing on the back's going to go on. Uh, put the blade back in and the brushes, and we'll fire it up. So I'll see you uh, as soon as it's all done. Right, it's all back together. That's looking down the brush hole as we did before. And I think you'd agree that's a lot, lot cleaner than it was. So uh, I'll put the boat brushes in. Everything else is back together. We'll fire it up, see if we've got reduced sparks. It might take a few minutes just for the brushes to bed back in because they were bedding themselves in onto the bad armature. So uh, yeah, right, brushes in, power on, see what happens. Okay, it's all back together. Um, I can manually turn the blade over freehand with it unplugged and it's nothing seized up. We're, we're good from that point of view. So I've plugged it back in, switched on now. Um, forget the noise. If you've got headphones on, bear that in mind. It's going to be loud. Um, look for the sparks. If you remember what they were like before, we'll see what they're like now. That's considerably better. I think we're on to a winner there. So I'll be using that tomorrow. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know. Um, but it lives for another day, I think. Um, it might be on its last legs. Um, however, it's got a new set of brushes. The armature is as good as new. There's a bit of wear on the geared end of the armature. Um, I have actually just bought a new one of these, the 255, uh, the double mitre um compound saw um from the same manufacturer because i've got on very well with them hopefully on that new one i'll have a little bit longer blade life but as soon as i get it we'll unbox it and uh, have a look at it see what we think but yeah as for this one um the 210 uh fixed yeah for so hours work five pound of brushes Anybody can do it, as I said before, not patronising, bit of common sense, 
you can do it yourself so please give it a go the advantage i've got obviously i've got a lathe um i'm not the only person that's got a lathe there's other people your friends they may well have a lathe or know how to get to one um so literally two minutes you saw how long it took uh, to spin the armature up on the lathe to uh, machine it down and that's all you need um and yep yeah, it here we go that's a good one thanks for watching if you found it useful um please give me a thumbs up feel free to subscribe and i'm more than happy to receive comments thank you